today from an inspiring Provision Entrepreneurs Conference. It's a motivation attached to information. When I choose to own the moment, that moment compounded over time becomes an emotional deposit into the emotional bank account of whoever I am serving. And when I am serving them, they become the unofficial marketing department for my business. It's given us hope. We have an opportunity today to make up our mind that from now on it is not grass, bleed, color, or anything about a person, but we will serve, and that will be the antidote. We're getting ready for Provision Conference today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Drenda Cassie. We're glad you joined us today. Our upcoming Provision Conference is very exciting. And we've yeah, got some, some great things to share with you today. Yes. Uh, Simon Bailey is going to be with us this year at Provision Conference. Awesome, awesome. Simon Bailey brings an understanding of the secular and the spiritual in business and about your identity. Life-changing material. Yes. I've heard him speak many times, and I tell you, we brought him because we said, Simon, you've got to get back here. Uh, the people love you, and I guarantee you that it's going to be a life-changing event. Yes, his practical knowledge is amazing, mm -hmm. but he has a preach with him, a yeah, supernatural anointing on him to bring the natural things to you. Let's go now to hear Simon Bailey at a previous Provision Conference, and you'll know why we brought him back this year. Provision 2017 is coming Thursday, April 27th through Saturday the 29th. For more information or to register, go to GaryCassie.com forward slash events. 27 years ago, my mom and dad loaded the family station wagon and drove me and my brother uh, from Buffalo, New York down to Atlanta, Georgia, where they dropped me off at Morehouse College. At the end of my freshman year at Morehouse, they called and said, we don't have the money to send you back to Morehouse, nor do we have money to bring you back home to Buffalo, but we do love you. <laughs> How many realize a brother didn't feel the love? <laughs> so I dropped out of Morehouse, moved into a drug-infested community in the southwest part of Atlanta, Georgia, a place called Peyton Place. Only had a mattress on the floor, a bright green beanbag from the 70s, a couple of milk crates turned over with a black and white TV on top of it, with a hanger hanging out of the back of the TV with a piece of aluminum foil wrapped around the hanger. How many have a visual so far? <laughs> At that time, I wasn't poor, I was poor. That's two levels below, all right? <laughs> I mean, brother was so broke, I walked past the bank and tripped the alarm. <laughs> and it's probably one of the lowest points in my life, and it was even in that time when I believe that everything that I had experienced up until this point was not the end. I got a job at the Days Inn downtown making a whopping $5.10 an hour on public transportation, probably one of the lowest points in my life. But even at 19, though I was lost as a goose in a blizzard, I recognized that there was an opportunity where I had to own the moment. Everybody say, own the moment. <laughs> so, in 1996, after 10 interviews, a 10-page psychological analysis, uh, I was finally hired to work at the happiest place in the world. <laughs> and if you look at me, I am all about the air condition. I am not necessarily trying to work in anybody's theme park in Florida in the months of June, July, and August, but I do love my job. <laughs> and so when the parks get real busy, it's all hands on deck. And I got the call that day that I needed to get up off of my blessed assurance and come and work in the park. So I find myself in Disney MGM Studios with a blue smock on, a broom and a dustpan, my name tag saying Simon from Buffalo, New York. And I'm like, really, really, you're kidding me, right? I went to school to do this. And I did go back to college and finish my undergrad and master's degree. I was just on the 10-year plan. 
So here I am at MGM Studios sweeping the streets, and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. And I'm just, wah, wah, wah. well, you know any people like that, you know, just always complaining? You know, they are more negative than an undeveloped piece of film. And so <laughs> here I am, MGM Studios, sweeping the streets, and all of a sudden some guests are coming towards me, and I flash the Disney smile. And they catch a glimpse of my name tag that says Simon from Buffalo, New York. And they said, we're from Buffalo, New York. And I said, no way. They're like, where'd you go to school? Where'd you grow up? Where your parents live? You know, people from Buffalo are like, that's like old home day. And I told them, and I said, so what have you done? And they said, well, we've gone to uh, Magic Kingdom. We've gone to Epcot. We've gone to Animal Kingdom. And I said, now that you're here at MGM Studios, you got to do this. You got to try that. It's going to be phenomenal. You're going to love it. And they said, really? I said, absolutely. So I said goodbye to them. And a couple of hours later, I'm sitting uh, back at my desk drinking something cold to cool off. And ladies and gentlemen, that's when I have the V8 moment. I have the whack upside the head. I said, Disney never sent me out into the theme park just to sweep the streets. They sent me out to the theme park to connect with a family who had probably saved three to five years of their discretionary income to come to Disney for maybe once in their lifetime. A family of four in a seven-day stay would spend on average about $10,000. And it was my responsibility to create a magic moment for them. Now, you're probably saying, Simon, what was the magic moment? The magic moment was when I asked them, so what else have you done? And here's what you should consider doing here at MGM Studios. What I really realized, that became the moment for me when I recognized that Disney was not in the theme park business. They were in the business of creating magic moments. That's why if you even called to their central reservation today, the person would say, hi, thank you for calling Disney. And at the end of the call, they would say, and have a magical day. What I realized is the reason Disney took so long to hire me, and it's a principle that I teach that I think all businesses should catch, is that you hire for attitude, you train for success. Training does not fix what human resources doesn't catch. Because sometimes you can hire a warm body with a bad attitude and try to train that. But if you get a person that has the right attitude, you can introduce them and help them really learn how to take everything to the next level. Well, from that day forward, I really have been on this whole journey of understanding this whole thing of owning the moment. And I believe when it comes time for you to move into another dimension, another level, another area of opportunity, you will come to a place where you are uncomfortable being comfortable. And when you reach that point, it is a signpost that your season is about to change because the Father has need of you, O oh brilliant one. When I talk about owning the moment and being uncomfortable being comfortable, it's really beginning to ask what I said, I would say, four questions. Uh, the quality of your questions determine the quality of your answers. The quality of your questions determine the quality of your thinking. The moment you ask a question, it immerses you on a quest to discover an answer that was waiting to emerge. Here are the four questions. Please, ma'am, please, sir, make the note. Question number one, where have I been? If I am going to own the moment. I must start with, where have I been? Because that question, the backstory behind that question, allows us to begin to ask ourselves, what is really going on real time with my life, with my business? Where are the areas of opportunity? What am I going to do to take it to another level and not just settle for the status quo? Question number two, why am I here? Why am I here? The greatest tragedy in life is not blindness. The greatest tragedy in life is to have sight but no vision. And when I really begin to understand the why am I here, I begin to have uh, insight into what makes me come alive every single day. A number of years ago, Disney sent me to Paris to uh, 
create a leadership program for Barclays Bank out of London, 1,000 of their leaders. And while I was there in Paris, I had like this epiphany and I began to say, oh my goodness, why am I really here? What am I supposed to be doing with my life? And I went back to my room, my hotel room that night in Paris, and I asked myself this question that came out of a book that I was reading at the time written by an author named John Etheridge. And John in his book, Wild at Heart, John says, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive. Because what the world needs are people who come alive. And the reason the whole why am I here question is so important, that 30 to 40 years ago, some people went to work and they settled for a chair, a check, and a cup of coffee in Cubicle Farm and woke up 30 years later and said, this doesn't work for me. Because when you really answer the why am I here question, that then leads to question number three, what can I do? What can I do? And when you answer the what can I do question, what you discover is you don't chase money, money chases you. And the reason money chases you is because when you find your lane, you choose to let go of all of those things that no longer serve you. And you enter into a new level of relationships that have been waiting to emerge all because you got real clear on what can I do. When you understand the power of relationships, you realize that when you are getting ready to go to another dimension, you can tell what God thinks about you by the people that he brings into your life. God would never give you an idea unless you had the capacity to make the idea happen. But what you are, you are no more than one idea, one relationship, one phone call away from somebody that has the door, that has a connection that you need. And I believe before this weekend is over, somebody's getting ready to get a hookup. Somebody's getting ready to get a connection. All because when you answer... When you answer the question, what can I do? Everybody that has been assigned to aid and help you will begin to show up in your space almost as if they have been summoned to you. Let me prove the point. When you go to the scriptures, there is a passage in Genesis where it talks about Abraham and the lad going up. And Abraham says, the lad and I will go up and we shall come again. Yes, you remember that? Everybody know their word? Well, what's interesting All of a sudden, Abraham is about to sacrifice his son, and his son says, Dad, where is is the, the, the provision? And he said, God will provide. Well, what you have to step back and realize, the moment Abraham said, the lad and I are going up, there was a ram caught in the thicket. So the ram began to make itself up the other side of the mountain, unbeknownst to Abraham, because he released his faith into the universe, and all of a sudden, at the time when he needed it, the ram was there. Now catch this, don't miss this. He had to loose the ram in him before the ram could show up. Some of you came all the way to find out what is it that I need to tap into as I understand provision. Well, I'm telling you, it's time to own the moment and release what's in you. Why do you need to release? Because the word release is a timing word. It's a timing word. In fact, if you went to any of the grocery stores here in this area, I believe here in Columbus, you have Kroger is your grocery store of choice. When you, walk, when you walk on the sensors, those sensors sense the moment you step on them and they open for you. Yes? Everybody tracking with me? Why do they open? Because they sense and they release. The moment the Holy Spirit senses that you're ready, everybody that has been assigned to aid and help you will show up because you loose the ram in you. Oh, somebody is getting ready to own the moment. Provision 2017 is coming April 27th through the 29th. Make plans now. It's absolutely essential that you understand God's kingdom. You gotta understand the foundation. You gotta understand how the kingdom operates. The materials from this Provision Entrepreneurs Conference are designed to help you reach your potential, learn a new way of thinking, and help you fix your money thing. What do you wanna change or reset this year? Get all five Power Pack mentorship teachings from this year's Provision Conference main sessions on CDs or DVDs to get started. Conference host Gary Cassie opens with his message of kingdom advancement, the sickle. What is the sickle? Aren't you curious? I mean, you have to know. You have, I mean, this is how the kingdom operates. You have to know what the sickle is. Gary also delivers his inspirational message, you have to engage. God has a destiny for you 
that is amazing. Absolutely amazing, but you have to engage in the game. You have to choose to engage. Success coach and inspirational speaker, Dr. Dave Martin, shares humor and insight in the gift we call life. Just point to yourself, say the rest of my life. Uh, you sounded good when you start talking about yourself. <laughs> say, we'll be the best of my life. Yeah. I want to I talk to you for a, a few minutes about how to unwrap this gift called life. Drenda Cassie shares her main session message, fully persuaded. We are here to equip you to do the works of ministry, amen? What is faith? It's being fully persuaded. Please do not get religious in this hour. Get full of power, amen? Also from Provision 2016, Gary's groundbreaking message, keep your crown on. Tonight, I want you to be able to answer that question. Who are you? What will you say when the devil comes to you and says, yeah, well, who are you to tell me what to do? Keep your crown on. Call or log on now. Five main session CDs or DVDs of Provision Conference for only $35 or more. A team of experts also taught eight fresh thinking workshops to help increase your kingdom knowledge. Get the eight workshop audios and the entire 2016 Provision Conference, main session audios and videos, and the workshop audios on a convenient USB drive for your best ministry gift of only $100 or more. And as a bonus, get three more kingdom messages on audio and video with the flash drive. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. And for only $35 or more each, get the 2016 Entrepreneurs Conference on five CDs or DVDs. Or get everything, main sessions and workshops, plus the three bonus messages on the amazing Provision USB drive for a $100 gift or more. Kingdom has to change how you think. You gotta think kingdom thoughts. If you wanna see the impossible, you gotta think impossible thoughts. Say yes to what God has for you. Call, write, or log on and get Provision 2016 now. Also at Provision 2017, leadership architect, Dr. Sam Chan, his single vision is to help others succeed. We're excited to welcome author, pastor, leadership trainer, and educator, Dr. Sam Chan to Provision 2017. Back home in India, we have uh, some very definite weather patterns. Uh, when it gets hot, start getting hot in March. Stops raining in March. So it's hot and dry and gets hotter and hotter. Today, if you were to look up uh, Delhi or New Delhi, for example, the temperatures are gonna be 100 plus plus, something like that. And, and, and it is, uh, when it stopped raining and it is hot, the air is as arid and dry, the, there, there's no moisture anywhere, our cows that walk our streets have nothing but skin and bones, uh, there's famine going on, people are dying because there's no rain. But then, uh, about July, for second week of July, we hear about the clouds forming in the Bay of Bengal, near Calcutta. And uh, they will make their way westward, and rains would come, and we know them as monsoons. The first day it's about to rain, you can almost sniff it in the air. You can smell it in the air. It's a musty kind of an odor that tells you rain is coming. The first day that it rains, when it really rains, the first day, people who are working downtown and in offices come out in the rain. They're not afraid to get their clothes wet because it's been so hot and so dry for so long. If we are in school, when it starts raining, the teachers let you go outside in the playground and let you play in the, in the rain because it's been so hot and so dry and so long. Well, everyone just go like this with one finger on your hand. Just go like this. Do you hear that? You think it's raining, but it's not, because I have seen rain on the first day. It starts coming down, but the ground is so hot, it evaporates even before it gets down to the ground. Can you put your second finger along with that? Mm-hmm. Now you think it might still be raining. This is good, this is good. Put your third finger along with that. Now this is the time you're looking at your teacher if you're in school saying, can I go outside? This is the time people are out in the streets. This is the time they're dancing and playing. But when you put your fourth finger along with that, 
I'm talking about rain. You see, every one of us in this room has an opportunity to be a rainmaker for somebody. You can help somebody. You can be their helper when there is no help. You can be hope when there is no help. You can bring joy when there's depression. You can serve somebody. You can serve a neighbor. You can serve a co-worker. You can serve somebody because I want to tell you that people all around us are dry and parched and are looking for somebody to invest in the life, somebody to say to them, come on, come on, you can keep doing it. Come on. Yeah, because you see, that is where we stop in our serving. But when we keep on serving, somebody served me. I did not come here by myself. Somebody brought me. An army of people have brought me here. And we have an opportunity today to make up our mind that from now on, it is not grass, cleat, color, or anything about a person, but we will serve, and that will be the antidote. Provision Conference could be your first step to gaining the kingdom knowledge you need to secure your God-given destiny. Visit GaryCassie.com forward slash events to register for this year's Provision Entrepreneurs Conference. It's absolutely essential that you understand God's kingdom. You gotta understand the foundation. You gotta understand how the kingdom operates. The materials from this Provision Entrepreneurs Conference are designed to help you reach your potential, learn a new way of thinking, and help you fix your money thing. What do you want to change or reset this year? Get all five power-packed mentorship teachings from this year's Provision Conference main sessions on CDs or DVDs to get started. Conference host Gary Cassie opens with his message of kingdom advancement, the sickle. What is the sickle? Aren't you curious? I mean, you have to know. You have, I mean, this is how the kingdom operates. You have to know what the sickle is. Gary also delivers his inspirational message. You have to engage. God has a destiny for you that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But you have to engage in the game. You have to choose to engage. Success coach and inspirational speaker, Dr. Dave Martin, shares humor and insight in the gift we call life. Just point to yourself. Say the rest of my life. Uh, you sounded good when you start talking about yourself. <laughs> Say, will be the best of my life. I want, I want to talk to you for a, a few minutes about how to unwrap this gift called life. Drenda Cassie shares her main session message, fully persuaded. We are here to equip you to do the works of ministry, amen? What is faith? It's being fully persuaded. Please do not get religious in this hour. Get full of power, amen? Also from Provision 2016, Gary's groundbreaking message, keep your crown on. Tonight, I want you to be able to answer that question. Who are you? What will you say when the devil comes to you and says, yeah, well, who are you to tell me what to do? Keep your crown on. Call or log on now. Five main session CDs or DVDs of Provision Conference for only $35 or more. A team of experts also taught eight fresh thinking workshops to help increase your kingdom knowledge. Get the eight workshop audios and the entire 2016 Provision Conference, main session audios and videos, and the workshop audios on a convenient USB drive for your best ministry gift of only $100 or more. And as a bonus, get three more Kingdom Messages on audio and video with the flash drive. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. And for only $35 or more each, get the 2016 Entrepreneurs Conference on five CDs or DVDs or get everything, main sessions and workshops, plus the three bonus messages on the amazing Provision USB drive for a $100 gift or more. Kingdom has to change how you think. You gotta think kingdom thoughts. If you wanna see the impossible, you gotta think impossible thoughts. Say yes to what God has for you. Call, write, or log on and get Provision 2016 now. Let me take this moment to personally invite you to the Provision Conference. As you can see, there's a lot of revelation, an impartation, and mentorship through the amazing workshops we had and great guest speakers. This year, Dr. Sam Chand and Simon Bailey are going to be joining us. Wow. Along with Gary and your amazing teaching, Kingdom Teaching, yes. Fresh Revelation, it's always exciting. 
Well, the Provision Conference is geared to an entrepreneurial mindset that we learn in the kingdom that we create or capture wealth in the earth realm. Learning how that operates, I believe many people don't quite have the understanding of that and that they need to have that. So listen, yes. we have three conferences you can choose from. Provisions coming up, of course, that's the basic understanding of how to capture and create wealth. We have our financial revolution conferences all over the United States. You'll find them on our website. They talk about kingdom law. Then we have our kingdom advance where we invite people to be personally mentored, question and answer, In very limited setting, setting yes. where we can actually get to know you and answer your questions because you need to be a student of the kingdom and we want to help you be mentored in the kingdom so that you'll have the results the kingdom says. Yes, and I know that the Provision Conference mm -hmm. brings such an array. Not only are there fantastic main sessions, awesome, but we yeah. actually take workshops and delve into all these different areas you need specific right. information. One thing I think Gary has done phenomenally is to bring the spiritual truths with practical principles. You need both to win. That's a dynamic, synergistic com uh, combination. Yes, and it I, is. So you need both of those. And we you encourage both. you to come to Provision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to see you there. Go to GaryCassie.com. Get all the information you need, plus all kinds of resources. But GaryCassie.com and consider also becoming part of Team Revolution, where we can actually interact with you and get material to you and help you win in life. But remember, in the kingdom, you are destined to win. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Your answer is the kingdom. We'll see you next time right here on Fixing the Money Thing. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to pray with you. Call and let's agree together. Pastors Gary and Drenda invite you to join them as they live stream services Saturday evenings at 6, Sunday mornings at 9, 10, 30, and 12 noon. Join us for Faith Life Church online at faithlifechurch.org. Go beyond your limits. Discover real success. Make plans now. The Provision 2017 Entrepreneurs Conference. People tell me it is life changing and people have told me stories about how they would not miss this conference. I'm looking forward to seeing you at this year's Provision Conference. You have the ability, you have the mind of Christ. You've been made more than an overcomer. But the kingdom of God will not change your life until you change your thoughts, until you allow yourself to dream dreams. A dream is a sneak preview of a coming attraction. What allows us to dream is we are to get a concept as to why we are here. The reason you exist at, in the 21st century is because the Father has need of you right now. That's the decision that is before us today. It all hinges on you saying yes. For registration, go to garycasee.com slash events. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself. Every weekend, Faith Life Church offers four new services with times to meet your schedule. Located on the east side of Columbus, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center and offers something for every age. If you can't make it to a service, join us at faithlifechurch.org for live streaming and access to past services as well. Visit faithlifechurch.org where you can experience love, community, and the good life. Today's show is a presentation of Faith Life Now.